Just a little bit about me. I, I, I came to Latin America in 2011. I uh, thought I could retire early. Um, thought that the cost of living here would be enough where I could I could make it on on what I had saved up over the years and, and the pensions that I would eventually be getting. Uh, I, I quickly found out that that wasn't right, uh, especially in Costa Rica. I, I started off in Costa Rica. It is a lot more expensive than the, than they let on. Anyway, I was there for six and a half years. Uh, I lived right on the beach. Uh, my my last four years, my house was right on the beach. I could literally walk out the door and be in the water to go surfing, which is the reason I came to Costa Rica to begin with. Um, took a trip to Colombia for a couple of weeks, ended up falling in love with Medellin, and of course met the love of my life down there. So I moved down to Colombia. I was there four and a half years. And I just, it was just, I couldn't find any ways down there. I moved to Santa Marta on the Caribbean coast. And there were ways, but just nothing, nothing surfable really. And my girlfriend and I, we talked about it and we decided to try out Panama. She, she, I taught her to surf. Uh, she loves it. Um, she has family in Peru, which we've gone down there to, to visit and surf. Ecuador, so and we're going to be doing that again. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be doing exploring this uh, Pacific and, and the Caribbean coast here in, in Panama, finding some ways. And I thought it'd be helpful to to maybe uh, put a, put a, uh, some videos out there for people who are thinking about coming down here. Uh, cost of living, um, I you know I compare cost of living here with Colombia and a little bit in Peru. Um, and just just to kind of give you an idea, you know, I wish I wish somebody would have posted a video for me showing me the things that I was going to run into when I got to Costa Rica because by by trial and error it's not that easy. <laughs> and a lot of people don't stay, you know, they don't stay down here because they're they're just not used to the way things run. So my Spanish is pretty good now. Um, still got a long way to go. I don't know if I'll ever get there. It would help you a lot if you if you if you knew some Spanish when you got here. Panama City seems to be one of the more Americanized cities I've been in since I've been in Latin America, and I've been to Medellin and Barranquilla and Lima, Peru, Quito, Ecuador. Quito, Ecuador is, is pretty Americanized, but um, but very different. Um, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. If you like, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe or like the channel and uh, keep tuning in because I'm going to be trying to put one out every week uh, with some different stuff. Next week, I'll be talking about cars and the process for buying them and, and looking for them, and we'll, we'll probably explore a place or two. It's a two-bedroom, three-bath apartment. This is the living room. I have my office set up in here for video editing and another side business that I have. It came furnished, $900 a month. Uh, here's the kitchen, or in the dirty dishes, or the clean dishes. Got a laundry room. It's got an area back here which is a guest bathroom, or a, they call it the labor laborer bathroom because in a class society such as this, the uh, the help doesn't get to use the same toilet as the as the owners. This is the guest bathroom, shower, guest bedroom. This place came furnished. The refrigerator quit, so we had to buy another one. So this room I, I don't use much; use it as a laundry drying room. Another sea view, different angle. All those ships out there in the distance, if you can see them, are waiting to get into the Panama Canal, which is right over that way. That's the Yacht Harbor down there. At low tide, all those boats sit on the bottom. So I've only been here for going on two months and had one set of utility bills come in. So I'm not exactly sure of the amount, but um, the electricity bill, which is 
uh, about 75 bucks a month. I don't use the air conditioning a lot. If you use it a lot, it's going to be higher. You could be, you could, you could see double that if if you really use a lot of electricity. I'm on a high floor. I, s I seem to have a pretty good bay breeze that comes in. Uh, I don't like sleeping at night with the air conditioner on, but the water bill is about $15 a month, from what I can tell. The gas bill is taken care of by the uh, Homeowners Association, which is included in my rent of 900 a month. Uh, the cable, you get good uh, cable and internet here, and a and a home phone package for 57 dollars a month, and I think it's 200 megabytes per second. Could be could be wrong. You know, whatever you think you're getting here, you're probably getting half of it. So I think it's a I think it's <laughs> a 400 megabyte package, but I'm probably getting 200. Uh, what other bills do we have? Um, the gym membership, I'll tell you about. Um, so, some of the interesting things that you'll find living in Latin America is, is landlords are, are reluctant to, to rent to expats until you get in there and, and you start paying your rent on time and they realize that you're actually a really good tenant and then they'll do anything for you. Um, This is the Santa Costera Piotonal. This, this jogging and walking trail and bike trail runs about six kilometers. On Sundays, they close down that main street out there and it's for about six hours. It's nothing but bike, biking and walking and, and rollerblading. Some sort of uh, helicopter tour, I think. Almost looks like a surfable wave out there. Actually, have seen seen photos of people uh, bodyboarding out there. But at high tide, where I'm standing on the, this bridge here, this is raw sewage coming in. So for some reason, I don't think I'll be out there. There's actually a spot listed way over on that side. Uh, that's Casco Viejo. That's uh, that's the old town big tourist here. It's actually a spot listed on Magic Seaweed as a surf spot, but I can't see where it would would break in any other conditions, but maybe a hurricane or a hurricane offshore. This little park before the pandemic was, all those pools were full of water. You could always find kids splashing around in here. Uh, they're, they're just now Getting rid of the outside mask mandate on Monday. This is this is Saturday, and maybe they'll open stuff like this back up again slowly. This is the Megapolis Outlet Mall, where my where my gym is. Inside my gym here called Smart Fit. It's a uh, nice sized gym. There's a bunch of them in town. There's probably ten or twelve of them just in town. It's a good sized gym. A lot of machines, a lot of freeways, and a lot of people. There's always a hundred or more people in here, but there's there's plenty of stuff to do, and it costs about twenty-three dollars a month. Uh, if you want to go to any of the sites, it costs you thirty dollars a month. But uh, I find this one close to home is, is more convenient, and I think it's one of the best ones I've seen. So these are all over Panama, all over Colombia. Peru, Ecuador, those are the only places I've been. It seems to be one of the only places where the mask rule is not really in effect. Uh, everybody has one kind of hanging from their, like this, and a lot of people without them at all, or some people covering their, their mouth only. I think it's, I think your protocol is to, to pull it up when you're walking between machines, but once you get to somewhere where you're working out, it's really hard to work out with a mask over your face, you just can't breathe. 
find this in a lot of Latin American cities where they'll just on a Sunday shut down an entire big boulevard and just let the people ride and rollerblade, jog, do whatever they want. This is Balboa Avenue. Six days out of seven this thing is jam-packed with traffic because it's the main art. People always ask me about the weather down here. Oh, isn't it hot all the time? Well, it, it, it's hot, but I've lived in a lot of places where it's hot. And it seems to me that Panama City is more temperate. I, I haven't been here that long, I've been here three months. And it's their summertime. And their summertime is actually the more mild time, so uh, I'll have to see as I'm here longer. But like for instance, this morning it rained. It's Sunday morning. Uh, it rained. It's probably 70 degrees Fahrenheit right now, 72 maybe. I don't know what that is in centigrade, 22 maybe, 23. And it will get hotter during the day, but not bad actually and like I said I, last night I turned the air conditioner on for a while but it kind of it was kind of muggy but normally I don't I don't even need it where I'm at out here on the Santa Costera Sunday like I said it rained a little bit this morning so not a lot of people out here normally there's there's a ton of people but it's also early and they have basketball courts here a league they're forming. Well, I think it's a volleyball tournament. I'm heading over to Costco Viejo right now. I thought it'd be a good day to head over there, have some breakfast. It's about a three-hour, three-hour, about a three-kilometer walk from where I'm where I'm living right now, which is right in back of that big big bank building there in case you're too cheap or broke for a gym membership here's where I'm heading this morning Casco Viejo Casco Antigua Casco Antiguo they all mean the same thing most people call it Casco Casco Viejo the old helmet bike rental here on Sundays Buenos días. ¿Cuánto cuesta por? Tres horas, cinco dólares. Tres horas, cinco dólares. Gracias. So that is five bucks for three hours. Yeah, five bucks for three hours. That's that's not. A Some drink stands set up all along this place on the weekends. It's the main seafood market. The aromas here of the cooking fish and the not so cooked fish is unbelievably pungent and very pleasing to the senses. Here's where we're going. Let's get across the main thoroughfare here. That side is closed off, but this side is not. Yes. Yeah, see a definite definite way to surf this it's just going to take a little more swell and probably a big board visit Panama and leave a lock I guess if you find the key to this it's the key to someone's heart I don't know your guess is as good as mine this this area is famous for rooftop bars with views of the city at night uh, I'll come down here some night. Once Marta gets here, I don't really want to cruise all these bars by myself. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice little stop here. When you when you get to Panama and you get in a cab to come here, make sure you say Costco Viejo, not 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 Old City, because there's another Old City on the other side of town. If you say Costco, they'll know where you're going. Costco means helmet. Still lots of vacant storefronts for rent. Some more of these older facades. A lot of private homes, apartments in here. 
since I left the apartment, I was talking about the weather. It's probably gone up 10 degrees at least in the last hour or so. So yeah, it is hot here. So this looks like a pretty good time to be walking around down here. Mostly filled with tourists, but it's 9.30 on a Sunday morning after a rain. I was able to cover a lot of ground down here without, without having to dodge a lot of people. Stopping off for a coffee and a pan dulce. You can get a guided English-speaking walking tour of Casco Viejo if you want. I think it's about five or six bucks. It takes about an hour. Uh, the guides are pretty good. I haven't taken it, but I've I've followed it behind enough of them to hear the people laughing. And, and there's a lot of there's a lot of history here. You know, this is this was a pivotal spot in the Caribbean Pacific Isthmus for hundreds of years, pirates and all kinds of different history here. So it's worth the money, I think. If you haven't been here before or you don't live here. And of course, what historic site would be complete with without a subway? <laughs> I think I woke up with her once. And we've encircled the entire helmet and we're back to where we started. And we'll head back head back toward the house. Cook up some some real breakfast. Place looks kind of cool. Capital Bistro, Panama. Uh, maybe the first stop on my uh, Corona tour of rooftop bars.